the very likely most um, typical, popular, or most used plot is um, an XY scatter plot. And in this plot, we have two axes, X and Y. And then we have a data table, and this data table consists of, um, for example, magnesium and silicon data. And magnesium has maybe 40, 30 weight percent, and so on. Silicon has 20, 25, and so on. And this is then plotted in this scatter plot. So this is what a scatter plot is. The most characteristic um, uh, part are these two columns of a table with data in them, and these are plotted against each other. And I'd like to make a couple of examples to illustrate this a little bit. So here first, um, I have the MedBase database. And uh, for example, I select a clan, I select the CR clan here. And then down here, I can plot two data columns on the x-axis and on the y-axis. For example, I can plot aluminum versus, say, um, calcium. And then I plot this. So I have two um, cerium is maybe not that good. And let's take calcium. And then I get the data here. So these are two um, data columns, again, that are simply plotted against each other. I could also not only take aluminum on one axis, but also aluminum divided by, for example, calcium. And then I, have, uh, I created a different data set, which is now aluminum divided by calcium, but still this is one uh, single column of data that is plotted against a second column of data, which is in this case calcium. Or I could even choose something very different, or not too very different, but different, like the olivine phaolite versus the, um, say, pyroxene ferrocellite, and then plot this against each other. So these are already, uh, to, to some extent, unprocessed data, phaolite and, and ferrocellite, but I can also plot them against each other because these are, again, two columns of data. And of course, I can also plot, for example, isotope data against each other, like chromium and titanium. Um, so these are two very different types of, uh, or these are these are different types of elements and isotopes. No problem, I can plot them against each other. Of course, the three oxygen isotope plot, in which there's delta 18-16-O on one axis and delta 17-16-O on another axis. But these are again two columns of data which I can plot against each other. And also this is still um, a scatter plot, in which case there's the a temperature on the y-axis, so it's continuous, but still is a, is a, is a column of data against uh, an abundance, which is in this case um, a normalized abundance, but doesn't really matter, but this is, um, uh, so this is also a scatter plot. But also this is a scatter plot, in which case there is the astronomical uh, units on the x-axis or the distance of asteroids from the sun against their inclination relative to the ecliptic. So also this is a scatter plot. So as long as you have two columns of data that you plot against each other, it is a scatter plot.